Oh, that records. Okay. <laughs> G'day guys, it's Jara here and I'm here with... Emma. So it's been a long time since you and I have filmed a video, other than two seconds ago, <laughs> where we just filmed one before. But like when we're just you and I just sitting and chatting and stuff. So I saw this video that... Uh, I'm trying to remember now. Uh, brain. Nudarella made with a girl who I watch. Her name is Jessie Page. They did a video together kind of talking about like their opinions and questions and things they get asked and stuff about with having small boobs and I just thought why don't we just talk about that as a general thing. So I searched up some questions that guys have about it and I thought we could maybe share our opinions and kind of just talk about it and stuff. So, do you want to read the first question? <laughs> uh, how sweaty do they get? Well, I don't really exercise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, unless you're exercising, or if it's really hot, not overly. Mm. Like, it's not like you're just going to sit there randomly, it's just like, oh look, they're sweaty. Like, it just it doesn't do that, it's just like, yeah. Okay. Do you ever find things in there later? So I assume they mean like, <laughs> they even lose change. <laughs> <laughs> like, sneak in there. I put money in that, my bar and stuff. But yeah, like I've seen a lot of girls are like, oh look, my phone, put it in here. Oh look, let's just put some cash in here, let's just put like a water bottle here. I'm like, it's their entire handbag is just their bra. <laughs> but most of my shirts go over the yeah. top, so like it doesn't get, can't go in. Yeah, like I know sometimes if I'm at a movie, for example, I'll be eating popcorn, and like I'll get home and there's just like one popcorn kernel in there, and I'm like, how? Just clean them out. I'm just like, how? <laughs> I don't oh. know. Uh, question. What makes for good bra? Support. Yeah, support oh is the oh, thing. The straps for it have to be short so they're holding it up. Because like, if they aren't like, can't shorten them and they're not really holding up. It's yeah. Kind or of if they're too big, like this one's kind of a little bit big. Like the straps, it like will fall and it's annoying because then you have to be like oh, really. Sus you just really, go like, like this. privately. You gotta be like. Oh look, I'm just scratching. Oh, I'm like, just like, you can't lift your elbow up. Because then, like, you can't just awkwardly just be like, bringing it over, because it's really like an awkward I get done to sometimes, do. I don't care, I'm like, okay. Yeah, I'll just be like, mm, mm. But yeah, it's just weird, because you can't really do that. Because it's not <laughs> class as like, a normal thing. Even though it is for us. Uh, okay, um, does going braless make you feel like a rebel? Um, I feel like I'm going, like, people go, notice? But I don't really go braless. Yeah. Um, I mean, it feels nice, but I wouldn't be like, oh, I feel like a rebel. Like, it's just kind of like, a bra can be annoying to wear. Especially like, if it's like, a wire. long day. Yeah, if you've got wire. Especially if it's a long day and you just take it off and you're just like... <sighs> oh, and your back's kill, my mm -hmm. god. That's another thing. Do you like one, <laughs> Do you like one more than the other? No, I was for a second. I thought you were talking about bras. <laughs> I was talking about boobs. No, no, really. No, nah. You don't do boys like one ball more than the other. Apparently, because <laughs> that's a weird question to ask. It's like, oh, my left one's better. Because <laughs> nah. like you see them every time you look down or gaze into the mirror. Guys don't get that quality time with their most intimate parts. <laughs> they just be like, nah, bro. I prefer this side over this one. Like you don't do that. No. Nah. It's weird, no. <laughs> um, do you have series of bras for every possible occasion or article of clothing? I have strapless mm. and straps, really. Yeah. I have, oh, you have sports ones, sports yeah. bra. I have really pretty ones for shirts that cover the whole thing so yeah. they don't see. And just normal, plain, everyday one. Yeah, I was going to say, I think for me, mine's just like strapless because I'm wearing a shirt that doesn't like have straps then if having your bra strap it just feels like a little weird mm. um even though it's still a strap so there's that just normal everyday bras and ones where you can like change the straps i feel like are really good because then you can kind of alternate instead of having to buy seven different bras for different occasions <laughs> <laughs> is having sensitive nipples a blessing or a curse when it's cold, Ooh. they show. Yes, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. No matter what you're wearing. You could be wearing like the thickest clothing and you can just see it and it's just kind of like, oh, I'm just gonna like itch and you're just like trying to cover it really so it's weird. It's, uh, yeah. 
Uh, how often do you notice guys staring at them? This can go for both genders as well. Like, I don't think if the guys had boobs, I'll stare at them like, I'll be like, you're bigger than my friends. <laughs> yeah, but like, I don't really, th I personally just don't think I see I'm, people staring at them. I depends. I've realized recently that I don't notice that type of stuff. Mm. Like, um, when my, my, my mom would tell me how, like, when I was younger, this dude that liked me who lived up the street. I didn't, and then she's like, oh, I was like, okay. Um, and then one of my friends who's met him when we were hanging out, right? She's like, yeah, he likes you. And I'm like, I never even noticed. Yeah, like, there's just It something. just goes over my head. I don't see, I won't notice a guy staring yeah. at me or anything. I think realistically, I think the only time I've noticed people staring at them is if they're, like, on display. Because, like, I mm. was walking home from work and I had, like, a group of, like, colleagues and stuff who were all walking together for, like, safety reasons. And this girl walked past, obviously had just finished her night out or whatever. And like she was wearing kind of a revealing thing. Uh, I hot. Huh? It was, I, I didn't see it. But apparently the, like some of the colleagues saw it. And they all just went like this. All of them at once. And I was like, what are you guys staring at? They're like, the girl. Like, what I did, they were all just like. I don't see the how boobs are attractive. I don't get that either. I don't like. They're just comfortable. <laughs> They're just fat there. Realistically, it can be Solo annoying. skin with like... You, you can't really lie on your stomach because like they're in the way and it's just like... Oh, if I lie on my stomach, I have a pillow next to me so I'm like, like yeah. lifted up. <laughs> so you've got that weird... Because it's just like so... Yeah, it's, it's weird. Do you uh, think there's such thing as an I... I th do you think there's such thing as an ideal size breast? No, different countries like different sizes. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Australia... I don't think we have like the perfect size. Like we don't. We're very multicultural. Like oh yeah. my lord, most of my friends are Asian, um, and like it's yeah. just like there's so many different sizes. Like who cares? Yeah, but like when you think of Australia, do you think of like oh, every Australian has blank bra size or blank, you know, that? I don't think so. But I can think of like from what uh, I know, Asians are very like to have smaller. Like I don't. They have small, but I don't know if yeah. they like small. I know they um, have. I wouldn't mind having a bit smaller because of my back. Mm -hmm. My back kills. Um, yeah. Like, but I don't want, I don't want really small ones. Like, I've been told I have big ones and I don't really ever thought I had big ones. Yeah. But my I've, family does, kind of thing. Yeah, I've kind of been like, mm, I don't think they are, but like, I don't think they're small either. Mm. I think it depends on who you hang out with and talk to. Because a lot of our friends, they're very flat chested. Like, very flat chested. And that's fine, like, we don't care. It's just interesting to see kind of like how everyone is in different stuff, because, like, I don't know, I just find that interesting. Just the variety of sizes where it's comfortable. Yeah. And you're not hurting you. Mm. Mm. Yes, um, how I repeat. How? I repeat, how do you manage to get a bra on and off every day? It's a skill. <laughs> I wrap it. It's a I have it wrap it around here and then pipe and then turn around and put it on. When I take it off, I just put my arms around and take it off really easily. I usually take it off with a shirt over the top. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm like, go up, I'll shut off and pull. I'll just kind of like have it and then I'll just like awkwardly go behind and be like, oh, I can feel this. Connect. Do you do you tie it from the behind? Yeah. At first, I tie it from the front because I can see it and it's just so no, unusual. No, 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 no. I, I could just feel it. Like, Alright, connect, connect, connect. Done. Ding. Um, but yeah, so these are some more questions. These are apparently, I think, some people are. would like to know. Yeah. Um, okay. when do boobs usually start going? For me, it was, I was a late bloomer, mm. so I didn't really start until I was like 13. I'm trying to think for mine. We went early, because I had a friend who was really early and started in like year five, so like um, seven, eight, no, no, nine. Yeah, Eight? it says off around 9 to 10. But like, a lot of people I knew didn't start until like year 7, maybe year 6, which is 11 and 12. Yeah, I reckon I was around 11, 12 area. I don't remember precisely, but I reckon I was around 11 and 12. Mm. Um, when did they stop growing? Um, well, uh, women stop growing at around 16, so um, I'd say around there. Yeah, I would agree. That's when I stopped going, and most yeah, most of them just stop around sixteen. 
Yeah, I reckon I stopped around 14, no not 14, sorry, 15, 16 area. I don't, like you don't really keep track, so oh look how long has this been going on for you, like you don't, I don't think you overly pay attention to those things, but that might be just a me thing. Um, will my boobs be the same size as my, my mum's or sister's? You are not the exact same size because no. everyone has a different like body size. Yeah, exactly. So, but like if your mum had big boobs, you're more likely to have big boobs. If your mum had small boobs, you're more yeah. likely to have small boobs. I think it's kind of sizing wise, it's more likely to, but it's mm. not like it's a definite. There's no cookie kind of sh like recipe yeah. or type thing. Mm. Cookies. <laughs> is it normal if one boob is a little bit larger than the other? Yes. Like it's very normal. Because nothing's. I, I've never realised. Nothing's really? the same. You don't really be like, hmm. No, this one feels slightly bigger today. Um, you know. Yeah, it's like whatever. Just I don't know. <laughs> Some of the answers to these yeah. questions. We're looking at other questions that are like more yes. about the boob itself and stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, um, I think that's an interesting question. That one. Which is, um, my I boob didn't notice that. Yes, yeah, so the question is like, my boobs get really sore around my period. What's up with that? I think it depends on the person. I didn't realize it. Um, mm. I don't think I have my boobs get sore. My stuff, like, my lower abdomen does. Yeah. <laughs> but I think mine just get like a little sensitive, but I don't think they're sore. Like, if that makes sense. Mm. I, I don't know, I, I, again, I don't really notice those things either, so it's kind of, eh, kind of like a meh thing. Mm. Um, looking up some more, are you ready to answer those? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, do bras really suffocate them? Probably. Yeah. Really, um, it holds them up and kind of just pushes them and like, uh, it's just hard. <sighs> I think it's kind of just like annoying because it hurts your back, but I don't think it's like, you're caging them, is that, yeah, I don't know. This is interesting, do they feel like a big burden on your chest? I think it's just I've grown with it, so yeah. I really care it's like a natural thing so I don't it's think it's not a burden. painful I think it's just more of like a uh, you're just kind of used to like you just get used to stuff so this I've just looked up it says like 16 problems only girls with big boobs understand and I wanted to see if you agree with any of them or not I have that big I but I have bigger than I think normal girls just a bit yeah okay. <laughs> Um, so one of them is not being able to wear button-down blouses. I do have that problem a bit. Yeah, because like there's a bit like, of a Like, it's gap. just like, oh, like, each, between each button it's like open a bit. Yeah, and that's, I think that's frustrating, because then you like, kind of want to like... And like, one in. of my jam performances, I had to get a bobby pin. Yes. Or whatever, and had to pin it down so it wouldn't show. Um, not being able to find cute bras in your size. I don't... I've had problems finding bras in my size. Yes, it's, there's it's that. Because I think I have a like an odd sizing. Yeah, because like weird. my body size is and then my boob size, that. which is the problem I have. So I'm a. It's I don't know what I am an American. What are you? Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm. It depends on the bra as well, because I'm mm. either a on the bra make. Is it like your beer? Um, I like that comment though. Running in general isn't your friend. It's when I run. This is what I do. You see yeah, you run like, like piss. You're running because you're just like gonna keep everything down. So you're like, hold on for dear life. And it's like, oh, when I have to run to the bars, I'm like this. Like this. And having to carry something. Yeah. And you just walk past people and people are like, what the hell are you mm -hmm. doing? Because I, I'm trying to run more. But like, I'm finding I'm putting like three pairs of bras on first. So then they're a bit stable. And it's just like, <sighs> like mm. okay. Uh, your back yes, hurts a lot. It like, does. How Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like this weird pain because you're just like, mm, okay. it's like where your 
moves are, but yeah. on your back. Yeah, it's like yeah. there should be something there to like balance it, but there isn't. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, trying to find a bar that's actually less than 50. That can be hard. Like, yeah. I, I like my nice bars. Uh, Lay, yeah. pretty, those type of bars, and those ones can cost a lot. Yeah. Um, shopping, <gasps> shopping for bathing suits is uh, a hard. <laughs> It's terrible really hard because that's why i don't ever want to buy it online because yeah it's just gonna be i did buy one online and that worked well but it still was like kind of a bit insecure i'm just like mm, maybe i should put a rash on underneath <laughs> yeah um, um going up and down stairs i still try and hold it's a little uh, yeah go down really slow yeah, it's just because they move and you're just like, you feel a little... And, you've, and it's very uncomfortable Yeah, when they're just bouncing. But I agree with this, like, strapless bras are pointless. I think it depends yeah. on, like, the strapless bra because, like, some are okay, but realistically not all of them are because there's nothing to, like, support it. It's just there. Yeah, that's... I don't like strapless bras. Putting yeah. things in your bra and forgetting that you put it in the... I put, like, a coin in there one time. And then I didn't realize until I took my bra off at the end of the day and it just dropped to the ground. I'm like, I had a coin in there. <laughs> See, I don't put stuff in my bra because I just feel weird. Don't I know. just I put money in there sometimes because it's just sometimes I can't. I don't have pockets or anything. I need something to hold it and I don't have anything to do. Mm, yeah, like this one. Seeing other girls rock crop tops with no bras and you can't relate. Yeah, I don't like my boy. I'm just like how? Yeah, I don't get how you do that. It's just like eh. Feels like you're lifting your own weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like when I lift on there, I'm just like, <sighs> so this. He, I, I feel like we get this a lot, especially with our friends. Being like, when people tell you they wish they had big boobs, just like, um, one day at school, I was like, I told them my size, and they're like, what? No, you're not, because like with the clothes I wear don't yeah. really show off off their bigger boobs. And then I was like, because I was also tra taking off my jumper. Mm. So when I took off my jumper and my shirt, and then they're like, oh yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, now we can see. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> um, do you have any other comments you want to add, or are you feel like you're all good? I can't think of anything. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. I just thought it'd be interesting to talk about and see your opinions and stuff, because, like you said, I don't think Singlets know. are terrible. Yeah. I like wearing my singlets, but I love like singlets. it's very sh like just the thin strap ones. Yeah, I like wearing them under like with the plaid over. Yeah, it's not unbuttoned, unbuttoned plaid, and I think it looks nice. But however, you see a lot, and it's just like some players I just can't wear it because of yeah how much it shows you. Because it like mm. I know for me, like I'll wear a singlet and like it's like a thick strap, and that's fine. I don't mind wearing that, but sometimes you can see like the bra at the side, and I'm just like the bra. Mm. I just like put it up here. But you mm. can't. But yeah, there's just like certain things that you just can't wear. There's just always certain things that you can't wear. Mm -hmm. With like, especially we'll talk about this when we went shopping together. I try to stay away from strapless because definitely having to wear strapless. But it's just strapless bars. Are it's effort. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> and really? you have to stick them. Get yeah. sticky tape and stuff. Not sticky tape. Double side fabric tape or whatever. Yeah. And stick it to you, which can hurt a bit. You might as well just like glue it to your body. Like, and it just like really does nothing. It's just like a cover up. I swear, you should, we should just put band-aids on our nipples so they don't show. Yeah, well, and we'd be fine. I've seen like people do that, like a video, and it must be so painful because you got to rip it off. No, you put it on oh, your wrist like, here first because then it rids off a lot of stickiness. So when you do put it on your nipple, it doesn't hurt that much oh. when you rip it off. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being the video then. Yay. Okay, that was just <laughs> weird. <laughs> anyway, Jarrett says, in the next video, sorry guys about <laughs> Let's bring you for a race, guys. Hug. That's an S. Yeah, but in the camera will be flipped. Child. Mm. Yes.